So let's, let's take a look at the color table. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to go back to my Docs and Colors button at the top here, okay? And I'm going to go down, okay? And when I go down, you can see that there's a built-in colors feature right down here at the bottom. When I click on that, okay, what it's going to show me, if I look at the list, is on the right-hand side here, I have a bunch of different color options, right? These are all predefined colors. So if I wanted to do, for example, a shade of blue, right, and I wanted to do kind of like a sky blue, here's a light sky blue down here. If I type in light sky blue just like this, right, again, inside of the single quotes, right, and light, uh, the, the L is lowercase, the word sky is capitalized, and the word B is capitalized, right, I can copy that to the clipboard, go back to my sandbox, and I can paste that here instead, okay, right, Ooh, I gotta be careful about my syntax, I have two single quotes there, right, so now when I run it, now it's light sky blue, okay? So this the, the program does come with a number of built-in colors that we can use that are already named for us, and there's a lot of them, right? A lot of good options here, and you'll use these a lot, okay? So you can see there's some whites, and there's some blacks, and some grays, right? All of these options are here, right? So these are, what are what's called our color table filled with built-in colors, okay? However, there's a lot of other colors, right? So most computers, uh, you, you can specify a color um, one of 16 million different colors, right? So we have three values uh, when we define a color, and you can see on the screen here that there's this purple color here, right? Does have what's called an RGB, right? An RGB stands for red, green, blue, right? And inside of the parentheses, there are three numbers, right? The first one is the red color, the second one is the green color, right? And the third one is the blue color, right? So if I put these three colors together, if you think about mixing together like red paint and blue paint in this case, there's no green paint because that is set to zero, okay? Um, if I mix together equal parts, red and blue, I'm going to get purple, right? So this is kind of the mixtures of red, blue, and green that we're going to put together to get a particular color, okay? So if it's not on this list and you're like, I don't really like this shade of purple, I'd like it to be a little bit bluer, right? We can, instead of using the, the word purple, which will give us this one, right? We can then, we can use the RGB value and actually specify what we want to happen, right? So let's do this. I'm going to copy this one, right? The current purple color so we can see what happens. I'm going to go back to my sandbox, okay? And we're going to replace fill right here, okay, with the RGB value, okay? So notice how that looks. It's not in quotes anymore. I just typed in RGB, and inside of the parentheses, I put the three numbers that I want to represent my red, green, and blue. If I run this, there it is. There's a nice purple color. But then if I look at it and say, you know what? I want this to be a little bit uh, more blue. I could change the blue value and make maybe make it like a 200 or something like that, okay? And so I get a bluer version of purple, right? But I have a lot more... Uh, you know, flexibility to adjust the color values the way that I want them, right? So these are two different options. We can use the predefined colors, okay? We can also use the uh, the RGB value, which will allow us to, to do kind of colors in between, right? Since there's 16 million different colors, CMU could not specify all of them with a name, okay? So that's all you need to know about colors, okay? Again, that they can be used uh, for our fill, they can also be used for our border, right? So I could, sit, for example, put uh, RGB here, and let's make, make this something different. Let's do put some green in here. Maybe we'll do like, uh, remember these go from zero to 255, so I'm gonna maybe make this 100, right? And we'll make the make the blue zero and see what happens, okay? So when I run that, apparently that's kind of some kind of a, a brown color, right? Kind of an ugly tan brown, okay? So you can see again, when I'm hovering on my canvas, I'm seeing that the, uh, the coordinates are the same, but the colors now in the top Right, the first color value is my first color value here, which is the fill, right? And my second color value on the list here, right, is my border color value, right? So they're specified on the screen to verify that things are being drawn the way we expect, okay? So that's colors, okay? Let's talk about gradients, right? Gradients are generally, uh, if, if we want to kind of slowly fade from color to color, again, let's go back to our docs and colors here, okay? If I go down to the RGB and gradient, Okay, we're going to get some good examples of that. So I'm going to actually scroll all the way down so you can see. So these are gradients, right? So sometimes we don't want a, a shape to be just one color, right? We want to, uh, you know, kind of transition from one color to another. And you can actually transition to an unlimited number of colors. If I want 10 colors, I can do that too, right? So there's two things that we need to know about uh, the color. One is what, what colors are we going to use, right? So let's look at our, our gradient examples here. All right, so let's start off with the first one all the way at the top, right? Here's an example, okay? So instead of writing fill uh, fill blue, right, we're going to use fill equals and then use the word gradient, okay? Uh, and then this in this case, they're saying, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to transition from red to orange to yellow. So they specified three colors, okay? And then 
the other important part about gradients is we need to know how, like, where's the first color going to start and in which direction are we traveling, right? So you can see that in this first one, uh, they wrote start is top left, or I'm sorry, left top. Again, syntax matters, okay? And so what they're saying is that the left top corner is going to be red, okay? And then as we move down and to the right, it's slowly going to transition to orange and then into yellow, okay? So let's take this information, okay? And again, we'll go back to our sandbox so we can see this happening. All right, I'm going to take this, okay? okay? And we're going to, um, I just pasted this in. And what we're going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. We're going to maybe make this like 200, okay? Uh, 200, 100, let's see what happens there. Okay, and when I run this, oh, I got a syntax error. So let's take a look at what our syntax error. Okay, this is good to see. So they're telling me there's a syntax error on line one. Well, I only have a one line program, okay? And it's pointing to right here. It's saying, hey, there's an issue. Let's see this little arrow down here. It's kind of saying that's where the issue is, okay? And you can see that what I did was when I copied this, I copied the word fill, right? So it's pointing to me exactly where the issue came up. So let me get rid of this word fill, okay? So now let's try to run this, okay? And there it is, okay? So you can see that in the top right corner, it is red, and then it slowly transitions to orange, and then by the time we get to the bottom right corner, it is now yellow, right? So if, as I change this word start, let's just do top. Now what we're expecting is that there'll be a row at the top that will be red, and then orange, and then yellow, right? right? And you can see that that's the case, right? It's all red at the top, and then orange, then yellow. If I don't put this word start in, Okay, so let's get rid of this entirely, okay? It will assume what is called a radial gradient, okay? Radial means that we will start in the center, okay? Let's just see what it looks like, okay? And we will slowly make our way out in, the, in a circle, right? So the center is as red as can be, and then as I move my way out, it becomes orange and then yellow, okay? So if you want a line gradient, right, uh, you, you have to specify. And again, in the Docs and Colors tab, let's go back there, okay? If I go down to R RGB and gradient, I can get examples of what each of these things look like. So, and I can see what I need to type in. So if I want center, right, this is our radial one. Okay, so I can see left top, left, right, top, right, right bottom, right. And I can have the, the gradient travel in any of those directions, right? So we have lots of options for our gradients, okay? 